Right, you welcome back to Joy News Prime, and it's still the special edition of the June 3 flood and fire disaster. Aisha is here. She's joined me with Joy News Interactive. But before I come to her, I just want to go to some of the tweets. Uh, it turns out that uh, this hashtag, remember June 3, hashtag remember June 3 has been trending, has been trending for some, it's been trending for um, 12 hours now, at least uh, that's what's indicated here, but it's been trending since morning. And I'll be taking you through some of the tweets that come under that hashtag. It's all about remembering the June 3 disaster and uh, hopefully so that it doesn't happen again, Aisha. Hopefully so that it doesn't happen again, of course. So before the tweet, a solemn ceremony to remember the 153 Ghanaians who died in the flood and fire disaster on June 3, 2015, was held at the Reverend Ennis Bruce Memorial Methodist Church at Adabraka in Accra, near Kwame Nkrumah Circle, the epicenter of the disaster. Now, many expected President Muhammad to speak to reassure families of the victims at the ceremony. But the president was quiet throughout. He has come under heavy criticism for this. Do you think the criticisms are justified? For me, it is not. It is, people who are criticizing, I think they are, they are, they are just uh, beating about the bush. Uh, he is the president of the nation, he is the father of the nation, and I think his presence at the place even shows how best he is. Uh, thinking about people. But President Mahama is also a human being. And this thing that has happened is a nationwide something. And you know, uh, uh, concerning a president, the father of the whole nation, I think it is not easy for him to also come out to just uh, say something because of all, we are all human beings. I uh, see for me, all that I can say is that, you see, uh, we, we, we need to also come ourselves together and then to make sure that we do something that will also be a defense in order for such a disaster to happen again. I think his very presence at the function alone indicates how caring he is as the father of this country. Of course, a situation like this, nobody will, will, will feel comfortable with it. So if it so happened that maybe he was emotionally a little disturbed and as a result, he couldn't pass so much comment. Uh, I don't think we should blame him that much. Um, he had to do it because there wasn't, his family members weren't there at that day. No one died from his family. So as to show a respect to their family and to the whole Ghana, he had to um, say the speech. So there's some comments coming on Twitter. Let's read them. All right. So I just read some of the uh, tweets that we have under the June. Remember June three uh, hashtag. So this is one put out by Joy FM. This is a day we will never forget in Ghana's history. Hashtag remember June three, and it has this uh, in, this image, this Ghana flag with the Joy 99.7 logo, and it says. We will never forget. It's been retweeted 127 times. It's wow. the most popular tweet and another hashtag, remember June 3. Uh, I just kept that one because it's actually no graphic. This one says, I remember June 3 because it taught us that those little negligent attitudes can have very tragic impacts. May all those who lost their lives rest in peace. Nana Kwame says, there has been no change individually you know if you are giving the chance, you will make things better. And uh, Milkshake says, last year today, I said my last prayer exactly one year on. I continue to say prayers for those who were involved. And Nana Kufado apparently had a, has posted the tweet. He says, we remember all those who lost their lives in the disastrous floods a year ago. It must never happen again. And um, let's move on to... Serial says, typical Ghana, hashtag remember June 3, but won't do the right things. We'll litter the city, we'll build in waterways, we'll rather grieve than change. And here is another image, a Nancy Companion posted this image. And uh, again, Joy 99.7 FM, the rains have started, let us stay safe. And again, it says, we remember the lives lost in the flood and fire. Mutombo the poet says, may those who died in last year's flood continue to rest in peace. And this one was one that really touched me. 
this man says it's it's a hash it was uh, tweeted by Ghana decides it says wow. my children call me Kakai Oh, that's so sad. He survivor. used to be a very handsome man yeah, before. So here, here is the disaster. His image, and then this, and then eventually that. Very sad. On WhatsApp, let's see some of the comments coming. Those lamentations, this is coming from Kwaba G from Jenny Jenny. He says, those lamentations are baseless and would pass as one of the useless propaganda against the president. There's somebody who wants to be president but couldn't wait to spend the day in Ghana to honor the memories of the departed but left Accra for London to raise funds for his campaign. The presence of presidents alone is enough respect for the departed. So may their souls rest in perfect peace um, aziz donla says june 3 was a tragedy day which i never prayed for it to happen again in the history of this country june 4 happens to be my born day but i can't celebrate it because of june 3 hashtag aziz donla okay this for coming from so this one is saying what is important is that JDM was there, and to me, that is enough. The rest is unnecessary politicking. That's from Robert from Somania. And this one says, my goodness, did people actually fall for the president's antiques of casting an emotional figure? This is an election year. Politicians don't care about human lives, so people should stop praising the president. This is from Ema from Kumasi. And this one says, Ghanaians talk too much. The president was reflecting on the event. His presence there alone counts. Ghana for you. My condolence to the families. And this is coming from Martina. And this one says the pictures are very worrying from Bambakia right. Summit. Is a, a few more tweets uh, back on the remember uh, June 3 hashtag. It says uh, Paul's Ghana says pictures from Ground Zero as patrons lay wreaths in remembrance to those who passed away. And it shows the Accra mayor there. I guess he has just laid a wreath. And then Becca uh, has posted one to, to the victims and families. Remember and are with you. Let's all do our bit. And here's what something she says on this image she posted. I want us all to commit ourselves to sustainable city and community so that in the near future, such a disaster partly caused by lack of proper sanitation and other human activities never happens again never happen again we can move on to our next story and i see if the june 3 disaster is not enough at least seven people were bent to death at mampo asante in the ashanti region as if i got at the home friday dawn i would necessarily say their family was trapped by their burglar proof resulting in their deaths so how can we protect ourselves from thieves without getting imprisoned in our homes <laughs> We will plead to uh, our landlords so that if they build the house, the, even if it is a single room, maybe two doors, so that if something is happening, emergency, they can just go to the other door so that you'll be saved. I think the use of um, CCT cameras should be encouraged in the sense that if I'm able to attack your home uh, the very first time and I'm not caught, uh, the probability that I'll come again is high. But then if um, a CCTV camera is in the room and then we are able to trap the culprit, I think he will be tracked down and then that ceiling thing will be okay. I'll leave the house 6 o'clock to go to the office. My wife will leave 7 o'clock to go. At the end of the day, everybody is not there in the house. It's so like anybody can enter. So in my house like that, when they come, I have be well of dog, but I don't have dog. Iron here and there. It should come with something that in case of emergency, you can just pull it and then go out. Normally, I think that is what it's supposed to be. You can still put a burger proof, but you need to use the one that, in case of emergency, you can just fold it somewhere and then go out. We should we prevent ourselves from uh, uh, the, 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 the risk, the things that um, uh, bring fire break, like smoking and then having uh, our gas on when we are not able to use it. You should, we should be able to switch our gas uh, our, our, our lantern, there are so many people, when it's light out, they go and then buy a candle and then unconsciously they sleep and they leave the candle there. And then for all you know, it brings out fire in the room or uh, at their houses. So 
It's your list is some of the messages. Right, coming. so Dente Cosmos says politicians are robbing us of our resources, the security are killing us, armed robbers are killing us, fire and water is also killing us. Oh God, save us from the hands of these destroyers. Bonti Benjamin Ashtagachimabuakwa says we must procure wild dogs to police our homes. Condolences to the families of the victims. And Schiffman says, fire again, O oh Ghana. Hmm, my condolence to the family. And uh, John Yak, he says, he goes on a spiritual note, he says, hmm, that tells the second coming of Christ, to burn the world by fire. And I'd like to go back to the uh, June 3, uh, remember June 3, hashtag uh, UTV Ghana says, government cannot do it all alone. Attitudinal change of proper disposal of waste must be ensured. And uh, Sports Obama says, it could have been me, it could have been you. They died in pain, but resting in peace. Ghana, hashtag remember, June 3. George Brixton says, uh, one year, uh, it's exactly one year, Ghana experienced a devastating flood and fire disaster. May the lost souls rest in peace. And, uh, well, I, I, I posted a funny tweet. I'd like us to move on from there. The mm. Phoenix Magazine uh, posted this image. In fact, this image has been shared by a number of people. It says, we express our condolences to all Central U, I guess Central University students who lost a relative or friend on this day. It's a really poignant image. Amaki Abebrese also tweets, we remember the victims and those affected by the, uh, by the June 3 disaster today. Never, hashtag never again, hashtag remember June 3. Justice Okai Alote says, I think the basic things that is to be done for us to avert another disaster has not happened. We need to change our attitudes. And I'll end with this one. Deru G says, we don't want to see these again. Hashtag remember June 3. And he has some images from last year. And on WhatsApp, there are um, a lot of messages coming. Uh, Bambakia Samet says, there are a lot of things that cause the fires, gas cylinders, electricity faults, and so on. Hmm, only God can save us. Uh, this one says, wild dogs will do. This is from Martina. No work, so armed robbery here and there. God have mercy on us. Good evening, sweet Aisha. Thank you, sweet Martina. This one is coming from you. Then add your name. Says my condolence to the family. Getting dogs will help. And this one, you're still typing a message, but this one is saying insurance companies will lure you to undertake a policy and deduct the monthly premium with ease. However, when it comes to making claims from some of insurance companies, you realize that it's health, so many conditions and requirements. Why? Okay, are you talking about insurances because of the June 3 disaster? As this Don La from Wa says, those politicizing the president not talking is rather unfortunate and misleading. Must we tag everything to politics? And those were some of your messages. This one says, my heart goes out to the families and friends of the victims. I pray this never happens again to our nation again. As to whether our country had learned any lesson from it to avert future occurrences, only time will tell. Hashtag never again. And this coming from Freeman Agogo. And guess what? We have the trending picture for you. Jesus, thou art there. Have you realized everything is painted the house? Everything. As such I look to thee.
quite uh, quite so a very a lot of <laughs> videos. <laughs> <laughs> Those right. are videos a day after the June three disaster. Very yeah. sad. Put together by a company called Sky with a drone company. Now, Nanaya 18, I'm going back to the tweets. Nanaya 18 says, A year ago, the, the rains gave the country a mark that will last a long time on our minds. As we remember June 3, uh, Nanaya 18 prays for our souls. And uh, Thierry Nyan says, On this day, June 3, last year, I saw my car submerge under water and could do nothing about it. And the uh, Bull and Wood says uh, people are tweeting all over that this day will never be forgotten. Have we done something about our drainage system? Today newspaper says we are today GHA solidar solidarized with families who lost loved ones on June third. Pray for God's guidance in these difficult moments. Or Hinewa says we lost the husband a year ago. Rest in peace, Lois. Jesse says trending on Twitter. Remember June three? Feeling so bad this morning, man. It's Kind of crazy, but God knows best. R.I.P. to the lost souls. I.G. Yes, the great moment of silence, moment of truth. Sometimes it takes a natural disaster to reveal a social disaster. And uh, End Channel says Ghana will always remember this day. Uh, Otum Forba say says Remember June three. Don't forget to say a prayer for the departed souls. It's not too late. And Ya Buedu says Listening to, I pray by Rena GHG. It was dedicated to the d disaster victims. Sean Dawson says, I lost a friend on this day through negligence and incompetence. Stop the talk, solve the problem. And uh, Florence JB says, and I ask, has the cause of all this sad feed be resolved? Did the government take its responsibility? I'll come back and take a few more. And on, on WhatsApp, um, Martina says, hearing the song alone, though I don't understand, I felt bad. God remember Ghana. Wednesday, 3rd June, this is coming from Brema Kwabaji from Jenny Jenny says, Wednesday, 3rd June 2015, the history of this country is an extremely dark one. The loss of over 150 lives was a true tragedy. For me, we haven't learned any lessons because we continue to do the same things that resulted in the flood. People were throwing refuse in the rain when it was falling a few days back. We can have all the laws, but for me, the game changer is an attitudinal change. May the souls of our departed rest in perfect peace. You're saying my condolence to the bereaved families who lost their loved ones in the June 3 disaster. May the souls rest in peace. This is from Samuel Feather. And this, is, this one says, Samson says, hmm, God have mercy. May their soul rest in peace. And this is coming from Robert Somenya. And that leads me to Emmanuel from Hohoi, who says, may their souls rest in peace also. Uh, Balfour says, before I slept on the 2nd of June, I made plans of how my birthday will be celebrated. I sent tests to friends asking them to come to Modern City Hotel where my birthday party was supposed to take place, only for me to wake up in the morning to realize that Joy News was giving us a very sad news. So I called off the birthday party. As it stands now, I don't think I will ever celebrate my birthday again. So sorry about that. Um, you saying uh, good evening Aisha the filling station at Malam Junction has stopped operating it has been deserted so can't authorities just pull it down just from Frank Kibi right a few more um, Philip Duncan says June 3 memories in de the death of many is a statistics but the death of one man is a tragedy uh, Blair says life goes by in the blink of an eye so be sure to appreciate every moment with family and friends Anthony Dankwa says, rest in power to all souls perished in the June 3 disaster. And uh, uh, Nakwali says, account to the people, never again. Hashtag account to the people, never again. Uh, Kute Godla says, I can't even listen to radio today. I won't look at the pictures. I'll hide from the TV. The memories bring back real pain. Kwabna Kusi says, uh, I remember June 3, the gory pictures of victims on social media, the fire burning, the flesh of our loved ones, it still haunts me. And Ken says, let's all say a prayer for those who lost their lives. And uh, I have I posted this other one, that enduring fireball image the night of June 3, we told the world about Ghana's misfortune. And in this, this image was sent around the world. I, I recall uh, getting calls from all sorts of 
media houses around the world, uh, CCTV, um, lots of people wanting, wanting to, to verify. just verify. But I mean, with this tweet, and a lot of them were asking me if they could use the images that I posted on Twitter. This, this image went around, was retweeted 350 times. 335 times. times. Well, uh, some more messages coming. Uh, Evan says, my condolence to the departed souls. And this one says, no fuel station should be near a town where people are busy or where people live. And on that sad note, that's where we draw the curtains on Joy News Prime. It's another Friday and it hurts to leave you. But see you again on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. All right. And from me too, I want to say a good night to you and enjoy your weekend. But as we remember June 3, I want to hope and pray that never again this shall happen in this country. Good night.